Okay, this is ITS128, uh, and uh, let me share my screen. I'm going to share number three here. And uh, let me bring up Laulima. Laulima. And uh, here we are. So, um, so we are, we are in, in week one and it's a pretty easy week. Uh, and, uh, I've posted in the class videos, uh, the video for, uh, Tuesday, the l lengthy, boring video for Tuesday. And I thought about editing it, but but if I spoiled you and edited it, it uh, you know, it'd be, you know, less boring, but it, it, it takes a while. So, you know, um, but uh, you can skip through it and you can certainly do something else um, while it's playing. And then you can, you know, stop and listen to the good parts. Um, the reason you'd want to watch the videos is because I do the assignments or I, I, I do parts of the assignments. And so uh, if, you, if you're stuck, then, um, you know, I may have covered it. All right. So, um, uh, so this week we're just covering Chapter 1. And uh, I think uh, I went through uh, these pages. I think I went up to, through Section 1.4. So let me just go back here. Um, and uh, development environment. I was going to show you some other development environments today. And um, language history is interesting. White space matters. Um, uh, let's see. So also in in my last vid in the last video I was looking at it and I spaced out and when I was when I was um, when we when I was looking at this one I for some reason thought that the code the the, the answer was there but no it's not uh, the, the the problem is to put the input statements in so this statement can execute and it'll so it's but anyway, why don't I, um, I'll show you that uh, today. Is there anything else I wanted to cover? Um, I'm very happy that uh, uh, everybody but one person has, uh, has signed up for the textbook and you're, you're jamming away. There's uh, three or four of you that are just showing off and you've already finished chapter one. You know, that's fantastic. Um, so let's let's keep it up and i think if i do spice up uh, you know this is the first time that 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 we're using this textbook and so uh you know the the assistance that it that it, the the environment uh may prove that 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 we get through this faster than i'm anticipating and so if i jazz it up i'm going to do things like you'll you'll hand in stuff on a different uh development uh, to development environment, or, or I may throw in um, reading or reading uh, disk fi disk files um, sooner, uh, so we can have some more interesting assignments. But um, this this particular uh, lab assignment, you're supposed to put the input statements here. So there is a value for that. There's a value for that. There's a value for that, and a value for that. So so what I was going to do. Is uh, show you some of the other development environments that we um, that we have that are available that are easily available. Um, if you go to python.org, uh, you can download the um, download, and you can download the latest release. Um, The latest release, Windows users, uh, oh, here, 
Uh, for Windows, you would click on either this one or this one, Executable Installer. Um, and uh, so then you're able to uh, have some kind of um, text text editor. And I think, in fact, you can just use Notepad, I guess. Um, so let me uh, get rid of this. Do I have Notepad? Just plain old Notepad. Notepad. Um, let's see, hold on a second. I gotta get rid of um, I gotta get rid of uh, this spreadsheet that's got everybody's score on it. All right. uh, let me sh share my screen again. Share number three. Okay, so uh, it looks like this thing came up, and so here's here's Notepad. Let's let's uh, go back to I'm gonna make this smaller. Go back to this, and so so I'm gonna make a Python file here, and I'm gonna say um, print hello world, and I'm gonna save it. Save as, uh, save it on the desktop. I'm going to call it um, test.py. And where is it? It's here someplace. Like right here. Hey, okay, there it is. Okay. Uh, so, and then I can do. Um, uh, I got to bring up a command prompt because I've already installed it. So I'm just bring bring up a command prompt, and it's right here. And I got to I got to get to this. Uh, how do I get to this? <coughs> address of this. Oh, it's this. Huh. I'm going to do um, CD, and then I'm on the desktop, so I can do Python test.py. Okay, there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so that's this program, and so I don't need this anymore. And so, so I'm going to say, hello, Joe. Joel, save it, and I can run this again by just hitting the up arrow. Now it says hello, Joe. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. So I'm going to change this now, and I'm going to copy this thing over into it. I'm going to do a copy, and I'm going to paste that over right here. Control paste. Okay, and so so I, I could go um, first first name equals Joe um, generic location equals um, Honolulu uh, whole number number equals 10 and uh, plural nine noun equals uh, a pokeball or something. I don't know. is it plural okay. and then let me save this and I can run it hit the up arrow and it says
Joe went to That's weird. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Py test py. Oh, okay. It's because of uh, different versions of of uh, Python. I have I have more than one Python. Let's see Python version. How do I how do I figure out the Python dash v? Oh, forget it. Oh, not even. Uh, forget it. Um, how do I how do I get out of here? Exit. Exit. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, py um, test dot py. Okay, Joe went to Honolulu to buy 10 different types of Poke Bowls. Okay, so, um, but that's not what we want. Uh, we need to be able to, we need to input, read the needed values from input. So, so they input this, for example, and it outputs this. So, uh, that looks more like um, equals input. And input and input and input and it's not giving you any any sort of prompt it just you're supposed to just type those four four words in um, one after the other input and then when you run this py test.py. Now I have to, I have to type in Eric uh, Chip Pol Chip Chipotle uh, 12 cars. Yeah, I went to Chipol Chipotle to buy 12 different types of cars. Um, I wonder why. Okay, so um, so this this should work. Um, copy this and paste it here, and that should work. So that's one um, platform. Uh, there's. You can go to um, Visual Studio dot com probably and download the latest version of Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Um, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, they're two different things. But you can develop Python code uh, in either of those, and they're free. You just have to download the right version. You download the free version. And the free version is a completely full version. It, what, uh, you're able to, to, to uh, develop um, all the code and everything. Is, what you can't, what you cannot do is um, there's a bunch of, Tools that help you um, work on a work in a team, uh, and you know collaboration and all that, and, and you know you don't get that stuff. And there's there's some other stuff that you don't get. But um, so I've got Visual Studio here, and. Um, Yes, I was fooling with it already, but uh, so let's go to continue. No, I want to go to create a new project, and um, here, um, you know, I have it set set the default, but there's a bunch of different languages 
that are available in Visual Studio. And there's a bunch of different uh, platforms. I'm going to just do Windows, but you can do all these other platforms. And there's different kinds of applications, desktop, console, whatever. I'm just going to do a console application, uh, which means I'm going to have a command line prompt like this um, when I run it. But anyway, so, so, so then I can go, uh, oh, so these are my choices. And so I'm going to take the first one, and I'm just going to go next, and I'm going to name it. See, I'm going to put it on the desktop and find the desktop. Desktop. And I'm going to name it um, <coughs> um, Mad Lab. What is it called? Mad Lab or some crazy thing. Oh, no, no. I need to create a folder. Um, I'll, just, I'll just name it that. Oh no, wait, I have to create a new folder. Uh, I'm going to name it, um, what's today? Today is April 27th. I'm going to name it April 27, 2020. And I'm going to go in there, and that's where I'm going to select it, and I'm going to name it. Name the project MATLAB. Is that what it's called? Something like that, whatever. And I'm going to create. Is because Visual Studio takes so long to open up, open up, which is why I end up spending more money on bigger processors for my computer. What's going on? Okay, here we are. This is it. Visual Studio. And um, so uh, you don't need to know how to do anything. Just follow, follow, follow along here. Uh, so I'm going to do um, what were those things again? I'm just going to copy this. Copy, and I'm going to paste it here. All right. And I'm going to make things easier on myself. I'm going to say... First name, uh, first name, um, generic location. See, it's got this nice type ahead stuff. I'm just doing this so I know what is being asked. And this is the same thing. And, uh, and okay, so to run this, you just click Start. And what happens? Oh, I got this over here. Uh, first name is... Uh, Joe Schmo. Well, I can make that look better. S C H M O E. Joe Schmo. Generic location. Um, I don't know. Maui. Whole number. Uh, fifty. Forty. Uh, plural noun. Um, I don't know. Computers. Joe Schmo went to Maui to buy forty different types of computers. Press any key to continue. All right, so that is uh, writing Python code in Visual Studio. And then there's, uh, there's a bunch of other things that, uh, that help you in Visual Studio if you're writing big programs. But I just wanted to, to introduce this to you. Uh, there's also um, 
visual uh, code. Visual V C. No, code. Oh yeah, code. So I've already installed Visual Studio Code, and it's a different looking environment. So there's this down here, and I don't know why it always starts. It always starts up like this, and this is, I was working on this uh, last spring. But, um, uh, anyway, I'm going to open up, a, create a new file. Oh, here's my new file, and I'm going to, what happens if I just paste? Oh, okay. Uh, and, and you should save it. Save as... I'm going to save it on my desktop inside here. And I'm going to call it madlab2.py. Okay, so, um, you know, this will work. Um, why is it? All right, I'm just going to try to, I don't want to be there. I'm just going to try to run this and see what happens. Start to go. Python file. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, it's 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 waiting for me to enter something. Uh, Joe, uh, Honolulu, uh, ten uh, malasadas. Joe went to Honolulu to buy ten different types of malasadas. Okay. So anyway, um, same code, but it's a different different environments. Uh, let's see, is there any, no questions? Um, oh, there's a chat. Uh, yes, Visual Studio Code is free. Um, um, yes. I had another question. Um, yeah, I was wondering if we put the single quotation marks or the double quotation marks on the homework um, or the, um, I'm sorry, the site we're working on. It shouldn't matter. You just have to be consistent. Yeah, start. because when I, when I try to do the double quotation marks, it says incorrect. Okay, let, um, which one was that? Oh, it's, I think it's 3.1. To, it was in the early part portion of the print variable output. It's when you needed the quotation marks, not the print num lowercase cars. It was before that. I don't. I don't have the program up right now because okay. we're on this video. But yeah. So, but you're a. But then. Then were you able to um, uh, fix it? And then did you get all the points? Yeah, for single quotation only. Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay. If um, if the class could be on the lookout for that particular, uh, uh, was it a a challenge a challenge uh, question or was it one of the uh, actual um, labs at the end. Um, it was, it was, sorry, it was one of the labs that okay. had, um, the, you know, try this out, test this out. I think, I don't know if it was in the lab yet. I'm just starting with the DY lab training. So I'm, I'm really new to this. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Um, so yeah, so, so, uh, whoever can, uh, 
figure out which one that is. And and um, I here yeah, I don't well you see all uh, languages are different, and in other languages in other languages there's a definite difference between using the single quotes and the double quote quotes. But I don't think in Python there's there's a difference. But I'm gonna well let's see. Good question. Difference between single quotes and double quotes. Wow. Is there a difference? There is no difference. Both represent both representations, however. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. The only other thing is if it is if it's part of the string itself or you know um yeah, so right. So uh it looks like there's no difference unless you want to do something like um you know this you know if you want to print this with double quotes there like this then you have to uh, use single quotes to surround the string and then the opposite is true if you want to use single quotes you know so anyway all right um, so um, so yes it'd be interesting to see see which ones because um, this textbook um, um, there are bugs and uh, they they depend on us uh, to to sort of you know tell them when when there there are these issues and and another class I'm teaching we're using the same I think I, I mentioned this uh, we found bugs there so um, great um, uh, so I didn't oh I did want to point out this one I didn't cover this interleaved input output thing. Um, all this is saying is that uh, is that um, if you are supposed to let's see the instructor an instructor might provide this this example where where uh, okay so I want it to look like this so this is a program that takes x times x right or two times x it doubles it not squares it and I want I want the out, the output to look like this well you you really want your output to look like this or your, no you want to write your code so so it looks like this um, uh, okay so so here if we run this with uh, with this print statement here, where we're printing out the value that was just entered in, so let's run this. Run the program. See, it says enter x five x doubled is ten, and that's exactly what this is. But uh, really, what you should see down here is this. Be, um, so you know you sh you shouldn't have. You know, let's let's make this a comment. You shouldn't have um, this actually execute. So it should look like this uh, for the correct answer. Now, if we take this. And do I have copy this? Do I have one of these other things open? I'm going to paste this in here. Paste. Okay, so um, so I'm going to save this, and I'm going to run it. Run it. Uh, sure. Okay, so down here it says enter X and I say five and it says 
uh, x doubled is 10. So here, the instructor, you know, me, I say this is what your output should look like, and you do not want to have this print statement there. So the point is, if you are testing your code, you know, like this, or, or if, if the instructor, me, should be so dumb as to say, okay, this is an example of what your code looks like, then you have to realize that, uh, you know, uh, this five here is the result of the user typing in the answer to this question here. You know, your, your program uh, prints this out and then it sits and waits for, for the user to type in uh, a value for X and then the user does types the five there and presses enter and then it's down here and then the program uh, displays th this out. And so when you're testing it down here, it should look like this. So this is the correct answer, whereas of course this would be the wrong answer even though it looks like The uh, indenting matters. Right, okay. That was an example of where you can't just be sloppy and have an extra space here, like you can in any other language. Python is the only language that, that uh, any of the well known languages, uh, this is the only one where these beginning spaces and ending spaces and, and indentation can change the meaning of the program. So anyway, um, right, uh, so, oh, oh yeah, so I wanted to, to point out this 1.13 to you, even though you only get, uh, you only get two, two points for it, but um, they have this in the beginning to, to point that out to you so you know you're not um, going crazy when, you're, when you swear what your, what, your, what your output is exactly what it says it's supposed to be and um, really, it's looking at something else. All right. Um, so I actually didn't have anything else left in this chapter. These questions are so easy. Uh, here, this this one, you know, you you just have to know to, you know, it's just two print statements, and you just have to know that you have to put a couple of spaces, you know before the, the, the word no, uh, so it prints out correct, correctly. You know, print, you can't just do no parking and then print uh, two o'clock to six o'clock a.m. See, this would be wrong because it's not doesn't have two spaces there. So if I submit this, submit for grading. So I didn't get any points. So I think I can go back and go. That's better. Submit mode. Oh. Oh. Submission. All tests pass. Okay. Good. So I got all the points. Fantastic. A question. Yes. So you wrote right there. Print. Uh, no parking. You left the quotations all the way by the parentheses. Does it matter? if the quotations need to be by the no, or does that always have to start by the parentheses? I'm sorry, wait, 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 wait. what was your question again? The parentheses is by the, the, quotation, uh, the, the quotation marks, right? So does the parentheses have to start by the quotation marks or can you put the parentheses by the no? You. 
Does that make sense? By the no. Oh, yes. Yeah. Start the start the parentheses by the no instead of before the spaces. You mean like here? Or, or uh, um. I mean, sorry. The the quotation marks. Start the quotation marks by the no. Oh, are, are you saying you cannot? You mean this? This is the wrong answer. Yeah. So so this is the wrong answer, and you you'll notice that. Uh, that when you when you run okay. this one, yeah, I I know that's the wrong answer. What I'm asking is, is you left the um the quotation marks all the way towards the beginning before the spaces, right? And then you you it's parentheses quotation marks space space and then the no. Yes. So if could you do it uh, parentheses space space quotation marks? Oh, wait, no. Uh, no. Well, what do you mean this? You mean yeah. That? Yeah. No. 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 That. That. I think. I think it'll ignore these spaces. But let's see. Let's try it. Run. Okay. Yeah. See, it did. It did. So in fact, it looks to me like you can put as many spaces as you want in there. And. Uh, but oh, oh, or but if you do this, okay. Let me try this. Space. Space. Okay, this should work, but you see it makes no difference. And I'm okay. curious if it accepts it. Let's see if it accepts this. Yeah, I guess I guess it does accept it. Oh, so, but yeah, yeah um, right. Yep, so, so yeah, so it, it's, everything start, you know, it starts with the quotes. And then it's however many spaces in there or, or whatever you can do. What happens if I, I think I can put a backslash and. And run this. Yeah, okay, that's going to do that. Okay. That skips to the next line. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, all right. So, uh, I don't really have, I guess I don't really have anything more. What sort of challenge questions did, did we go, did we, um, cover enough of these challenge questions? Let's see. You type in this again. And I'll just see the challenge question. Retype the statements, correcting the syntax error in each print statement. Well, first of all, I'm going to run this and see what happens. Oh, no, I don't have anything. There's nothing here. <laughs> I see. Okay, first of all, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this, copy it, I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to see what the heck is the matter with that. Yeah. Anyway, I'll fix that. Let me just fix it. So I can make this a double quote on this side, or I can, or I could have made it a single quote on the other side. But now when I run it, I get that. They didn't give me any points for that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Print. Especially, about the future, quote, and then I'm going to say print um, I'm going to say user.
num is quote comma I'm just gonna say this five. I want to see if it accepts this. What? It gave me points for that. It's cheating, man. It should have been, um, you know, they should try it with something else. Oh, no. anyway. um, it really should have been like this. Uh, comma, comma, user none. And then user num is, is equal to so user num equals five. So anyway, um, all right. Um, I won't hold you any longer. Um, does anybody have any other questions? Yeah, I had one more question. Um, is there a glossary of basic code for Python for this uh, course? Well, uh, let's see. Um, well, okay, you can always go to see it's at python.org. Okay, there's a beginner's guide. Okay. And there's also a dot. So let's see what the beginner's guide looks like. Oh, how to install it. Okay. Not much there. What does the documentation look like? Okay, we are stable. Yes. Tutorial, library reference, set up and usage. Um, so live language reference. Okay, so what's library reference? Um, you know, these all become meaningful to you as you get going, but maybe the tutorial would be a good one. So yeah, this this language has been around since the '90s, and um, you know the, these languages they they come in, you know they come in vogue and then they go out of vogue. But the the um, and you know I don't need to get into why why Python is so, such an interesting just such such an interesting uh, language now, but. You know the the underlying the, the runtime engine the way the way the way Python stores variables and and stores objects and all that is quite a bit different than other languages and um, because of that it, it it's really easy to make really powerful libraries and so I think one reason why Python is so is so popular now it's just taking over is because uh, you know. There's so many libraries out there. It's easy to to make them, and if you need to do something like, you know, control a robot, you you uh, you, you just do a search for you know, uh, you know, Python library to to run you know this brand of robot, and you know there you know, it's all there. So anyway, um, uh, so that's why it's a pretty and it's really easy to run to, you know, you can just, you know, write these programs with your notepad and just, you know, run them at the command line or, you know, you can do PY and I think you end up in, in the Python interpreter and type help and you can get information on it and so on. So anyway, um, all right. Um, uh, so, It'll get more difficult. Are, are there any other questions? All right. Well, I think I will. Uh, I can end it here. I'll. Uh,
upload the video and uh, I will uh, next week will um, so the video will go here and uh, next week I think we're gonna start uh, with variables and expressions so All right, so can you see me now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, all right, so, um, so I'll end it here and uh, we will see you next Tuesday. All right, thank you everybody. Have a good thank week. You. Stay safe. Thank you. Wear a mask. Yeah, thank you, you too.